Let's get over to Chief Meteorologist ba Bobby Deskins, who we know is going to be watching the game closely tonight, but also there's a lot going on with Hurricane Sally and the rest of the tropics as well. Yeah. One, one eye on the game tonight, another eye on the radar, because we do have some storms actually coming in, or at least right near the coast from Sally, but most of us will just see rain. But look, I mean, look at this, guys. This is one of the busiest times we have seen in 49 years. So now we're down to four name system, basically. Paulette, Vicky, Teddy, and Sally. Yesterday it was five, and five has tied the record back in September of 1971. That one I think will be Wilfred. Uh, it's a 70% chance that it does. And Teddy is going to be a strong one. But thank goodness it looks Teddy will avoid the United States. But that means bad news for Bermuda. And it's going to get close to Bermuda, which just had a cat two go by in Paulette. All right, so let's talk about the big picture out there. We have a lot going on, and boy, is it going to be raining in parts of the deep south. So it's been raining here. If you watched yesterday, we've been tracking that, right? Even earlier in the weekend, some of the rain was coming up over top of us, of course, and into the Big Bend. Because this is turning, because it's slow moving, it's going to take its time to dump the rain over those locations. The five o'clock track says by tomorrow evening, the center isn't even to Jackson, Mississippi yet, or Jackson, Alabama, I guess I should say, but that is getting closer to moving on shore tonight. And what's going to happen is the winds have come down, so thank goodness the wind will not be as much of an issue, but they're soaked. And you add 80 mile per hour winds to that, the ground soaked trees fall over a lot easier on that. So that's going to be an issue. Storm surge has come down as a result, thank goodness. Here's the forecast model that we use here at the station, one of them. This is the RPM model. This is through tomorrow morning at 8.30. It's just making landfall at that particular point. And then you notice it'll move off towards the north and the east and that just slowly move across the southeast. That's tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. And then as you move on up across the Carolinas, it'll take through Thursday afternoon and evening for that to occur. Those areas in the mountains get that heavy rain and it gets funneled in those mountains and that can cause mudslides and, and, and all kinds of flooding there. Four to six inches of rainfall is possible in some of those higher elevations. In fact, look at the numbers closer to here. 20 inches are possible. That's, you know, 24 inches is two feet. So we're talking one to two feet of rainfall. Mobile, Pensacola, Dolphin Island, those areas there, and then three to five inches, a little bit less as you work your way over towards Panama City Beach, and one to two inches when you get up towards the Big Bend. But look at this stretch of rain that goes all the way up into Virginia. I mean, Southeast Virginia could see easily three to four inches of rainfall. The models predict in some areas four to six inches of rainfall. All right, now let's go back out to Paulette. Paulette, look at that hard right turn. Right turn, Clyde, remember that? Well, you can see that's not going to be an issue. It's going to be way out in the Atlantic. I did want to show you the satellite on Teddy because Teddy is looking really good now. That's a big envelope of moisture, and the forecast on this gets it going to Category 3 storm, 120 mile per hour winds. That's what I was mentioning. It's headed towards Bermuda. Vicky, that's the other storm out there. You can see that's nothing to worry about. That will fall apart. So, yeah, thank goodness we at least have those names on the list right now, but we don't have to deal with them.